All right, welcome back, people, uh, to Nordic Quorum. I'm AJ. I'm Daniel. And today, we'll talk about strikes. Oh, baseball, huh? Uh, yes. All not, right. Not really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, worker strikes, huh? Yeah. All right, where do you want to start, AJ? There are a couple of strikes going on in this country, and uh, mass media is not talking about it. They're not even paying attention, actually. Well, why would that be? Because they are owned by Big C. Uh oh. Oh, we can't say that word on. Uh, oh, corporation. Corporation. Right, so, yeah. right. Right. Okay. So. And it's not in their interest to talk about the strikes because that may give ideas to their own hmm, servants. Oh uh, no 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 slaves. Oh, oh no 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 no. Wow. We're getting, uh, we're going deep here. We're going uh, real deep. Sorry, employees. Okay. Employees. No, associates. What do they call them now? Employees, associates? Maybe associates. Uh, friends? F- no, nah, I wouldn't go that far. Okay. Uh, they wouldn't uh, <laughs> be Slave friends? In. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Willing slaves? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to. What do unions do to corporations? Well, they limit their power, right? Yeah. They don't want that. Limit CEO's power? Yeah. Manager's to, power. And the ability to exploit their workers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the, to get back to our strikes again, um, there's a big strike going on in uh, Alabama again. Okay. And uh, this is the coal miners? This is the coal miner okay. strike. Uh, almost 1,100 miners have walked out their jobs on April 1st, wow. 2021. And... Uh, Nobody has talked about it. You have not heard on CNN, MSNBC. Well, I'm sure or Fox. certainly Fox is not really talking about it. Wow, even Fox News? Yeah. But they're so committed to the worker. They're only committed if you're pulling yourself up by your broken bootstraps. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, got you, got you, got you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's not happening. Um, yeah. Okay, this is the first, uh, what, uh, coal miner strike in... Yeah, it's in uh, Alabama. What happened was their company was uh, going under. So another company came in and bought them out. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. So there was nothing wrong with it. They promised them they will get more pay, uh, more time off. Mm. All the all the things that they wanted to hear. All the little words, the code words. Yeah, the yeah. code words. The bells and whistles. Yep. And, um, but that never happened. Wait a minute. How is that possible? They made a deal, right? They gave their word? Uh, that was just the word. <gasps> oh, not legally binding, I guess. No. Okay. Okay. And, uh, actually what happened was they slashed their pay by $6 an hour. So instead of increasing their pay, they slashed their pay. <laughs> okay. Took, a, took away their holiday pay. Oh, no. And their ability to get overtime. <laughs> okay. So, that, okay. <laughs> this is going the wrong direction. <laughs> Jeez. And also, their health insurance cost went up. So their pay went down. And their costs went up. Their costs went up. Is that how it's supposed to work? So they're... They're actually working for the insurance company now. <laughs> <laughs> They're dual employees. Okay, the insurance yeah. company. And the, yeah, well, that, that's a bad scenario. That is something you do not want to happen. Um, nope. Especially when you're given assurances beforehand. But I'm sure it's an all too common practice. What can I say? Well, you know, so they strike. They went on strike and they started protesting. And okay. when they protested... They were some of them got arrested for sending protesting. The poli- yeah, the company sent in police to arrest them. Oh uh, wow! Well, they know it's against a lot of protest. Mm, well, it's not against the law, but if you're standing in certain spot of the company property, then uh, you, you see, can be arrested. So they were trying to block the entrance to the mine, and on that ground, they were arrested. Well, actually, they were not. They were just. There. Okay. Yeah. And? So they went to New York because a big hedge fund is supporting this company. Is backing, actually backing this company. 
So they try to protest in front of their building. Okay, gotcha. Do you know the name of the hedge fund? Please tell it's me. Something with B. Bain Capital? No. No? It's the other big B. It's the yeah. Black. BlackRock? Yes, there you oh. go. BlackRock. Oh, they're good people. Uh, don't they buy homes for uh, homeless people? Uh, <laughs> they buy homes and they make homeowners oh, homeless. That's a dynamic right yeah. there. There it is. <laughs> they do the other way. <laughs> well, they're creators. They're creating homeless people. Yeah. Or renters out of them. Perfect. Yeah. That's capitalism. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, so as, are we going to see any resolution here? I guess that's the question. Not anytime soon. It doesn't look like it. Uh, they're still on strike. Okay. And but uh, they're fighting the good fight. They're fighting, and uh, they have not seen any. The company is not uh, backing down, and strike uh, workers are not backing down. So we'll see how it ends up. Is anyone supporting these strikers? Mm, the union members are. You know, they have funds. They have provided uh, funds to these uh, people, which Good. is uh, about $650 biweekly, which is about $1,300 a month. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, they can uh, buy maybe rent or maybe food. It's up to them. Maybe they can pay rent one month and food next month. I would be what a month late on that. Yeah. That's Every other idea. month, yeah, that's a good idea. It's one way to live, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna follow the story. We'll we'll keep an eye on this story, and uh, uh, if people have a chance, please read uh, Nation. They're the only ones that that I can see have uh, covered this story. Wow, yeah. that's interesting. It's too bad, though. I mean, um, it's, it's a yeah. really important issue. We have another one. We do in the country. This one takes place in the little uh, Topeka, Kansas. Oh, Topeka! Okay. This is Frito Lay, in the heart of the country. The heart this is the heartland. Yeah, okay, these are real Americans. Red so, blooded Americans. Red blooded Americans. Okay. Where workers are alleging that they were uh, forced to work up to eighty four hours, um, sometimes with what no pay. Is this uh, also a big company? Frito Lay is a pretty big company. It's got a few employees. Oh, okay. But the ones on strike are about six hundred. Oh. For more than two weeks now, they've been on strike, uh, and they just you know they want um, they want pay, safety, and overtime. So they were working eighty four hours. What's wrong with that? What's wrong in a, with in that? a week is one hundred and forty six hours, forty seven hours. Yeah. Well, that's a question. They were only required eighty four. So what's what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? I don't know. I mean, I. I Honestly, they should be lucky they have jobs. Yeah. I don't know what they're complaining about. I mean, don't they live in America? Isn't this what it is it uh, are supposed to do is work? Well, it's a land of milk and honey. Yeah. The land of opportunity. If yeah. you take hold, if you're willing to put in the work, <laughs> free to lay employees, yeah. you put in the work and you'll get the rewards. I mean, at least you get to eat chips for free, right? I'm not sure that they're free. AJ. Maybe they are. Maybe they're not, though. Uh, they maybe are made out of blood and sweat Ooh. and tears. Blood, sweat, and tears. Blood and soil. <laughs> Who says blood and soil? Oh. <laughs> I said somebody else said that. Uh, just, just so we're clear, Frito Lay has denied the charges. Okay. That they uh, required so much overtime. Of course. I mean, they're upstanding company. And I bet they're owned they're by Pepsi Cola. Who CEO makes how much a year? Last year's compensation was twenty one million dollars. That's not bad. No. That's a good amount of money. Um, a healthy nest egg. I mean, he needs $21 million to live. He I makes important it. decisions. I mean, he, he came up with, probably came up with the uh, decision to not to pay these uh, people or give them, them time off. I mean, that's a cost-saving measure, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. who can make these type of decisions? Only a person who makes twenty-one million a year. Yeah, um, yeah. I think he's doing very well for himself. He uh, is. I mean, he he's not complaining at all. He's not on strike. Yeah, he's doing better he, than the workers are. He shows up to work every day. Does he have to? I don't know. Not really. I don't think so. No. Well, what a privileged uh, position to be in. I mean, he 
he does have to put on a nice suit and shoes and a tie. Mm. Yeah, that that can really drag you down. Yeah. Get in your expensive car, maybe your, yeah. your Maybach or whatever you, <laughs> you drive to work. I don't know. Well, I have no idea. Maybe he uh, doesn't have to drive. He, maybe he has a chauffeur or a helicopter pilot. Takes wow. him. Who knows? What is he, Donald Trump? We're, we're just speculating. It's all we're speculating. Yeah. We have no information. We have, we, we have no idea. The personal transport. He may be a good person. Maybe the best person. Maybe uh, one of the best in the country. Who knows? We don't know. Well, he's rich, so he probably is. Yeah. That's what I'm told, is that the, the rich are better. It's like an aristocracy. Well, you know, rule by the best. Is that what that means? Yeah. Rule by the best? Um, but, you know, uh, yeah, so these two stories, uh, these strikes, they're, they're important because they show that you know, workers, when they unite, they have power. We have power. Yeah. And we shouldn't forget that. You know, we, when we go to work every day and orders are handed down from above and we follow, right? We forget that we actually do have some power. But only through organization. It's just I mean, yeah. I mean, these people have to get together and decide that are these the conditions they want to work in. That's right. Is this the pay they're willing to take? Uh, if not, I mean, these companies can fold and go away. Isn't that's what capitalism is all about, right? Yep. They can't compete. Yeah. That's exactly right. So... Uh, just, just a reminder, a friendly reminder to uh, don't accept your conditions. You don't have to. You don't have to. I mean, you you have power. People have power, actually. They just don't realize that they can do a lot more with it. They don't have to take well, shitty jobs. We've been beaten down, AJ, for a long time. You know, we've been led to believe that we don't have any power. Well, that's because uh, it works in their system, in their... Uh, in their favor. Yeah, it does. Um, of course it does. Yeah. Uh, when you give employees power, you cede your own power to them, and then you, you know, you're not in control of your and own then destiny. Then who, who's in control then? I mean. Who watches the watchers, AJ? Yeah. But, I mean, uh, yeah, anyways, that's uh, that's what's going on um, around the country. So, uh, mass media, do your job. Yeah, I'm sure. So, we don't have to. Wow. <laughs> That's a shot across the bow. Yeah. All right. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll get back to you. Thank you.